Hi everyone, it's Sive. I have a special little um, book shopping vlog for us today. I'm meeting my friends at a secondhand bookstore um, and we are going to be participating in this sale that they've got going on. It's basically a penny a page sale and so obviously you pay a penny for the length of the book. I will take you along with me and then we'll do a little book haul at the end of it. I do have some specific stuff I'm looking for. However, because it is secondhand, I'm not like, you know, really rigid and sticking to this list. I just kind of have an idea of like certain titles and authors I would love to see if they have. Um, and then I'll ask my friends if they would be also willing to share and do a little, we'll maybe do a little clip of what everybody got. So happy Saturday and um, I hope you enjoy the video. So we've just pulled up and I'm gonna text my friends. I think they are either here or they're about to be here. It is crowded. So I'm gonna do my best to vlog a little bit while we're in there. Um, but listen, it is what it is. It's a sale and that's why we're here. And I love that other people are here too supporting this. So um, I will see you inside. Hi, Abby. Hi. I have the whole series. I tried calling my husband to confirm because I think it's either three or four that I need. I'm pretty confident it's yeah, four. I've seen that on your shelf. Okay. I have this one? No, the oh, series. Okay. The series. Um, This is the fourth book in the Vampire Academy series. This is the... <gasps> yes. I'm so excited. Yeah, I think I got this one for... Girl, I I'm so excited. And 11 cents. Okay, fantastic. I've read this before, but I just wanted to own it. Fair. Is that second hand? Yes. Oh my gosh. Five seventy five. That's like a new book. But I got it for three dollars and fifty cents. Wow. Beautiful. Um, I have the first one, but I don't have the second one yet. This one's like about like an assassin. So yeah. Two ninety five. So it was actually cheaper. Wow, that's pretty. This is incredible. the third book in the Friend Zone trilogy by Abby Jimenez. I've read it before, but I wanted to own. I want yeah. to own all of her books. Yeah. So she has the Part of Your World trilogy and the Friend Zone trilogy. This is the third one in the Friend Zone trilogy. Cute, love that. So you've read everything by her? Yes. Okay. Everything, and then my last one is this one. This was such <laughs> so... a good deal. So it was nine ninety five, and I got it for like three dollars and. 58 cents. Wow, I'm so excited for you I to read that book. I almost got one for my enemy by Olive Blake just because I want her books because they're beautiful and she's a good writer because it was like $13 I found that one too, I think, yeah. and it would have only been like three something if wow. I decided against it because That's amazing. sometimes when I want books I think to myself what would Sive say mm. and Sive would come over and say have you read this yet? Have you read this yet? And <laughs> I'd say no, no, no. And so anything that I hadn't read yet or didn't think I'd read for a while I was like I don't need it. I'm very proud of you. You got a lot of like romance and um, fantasy and stuff. Yes, and That's my total was $22. Fabulous. But I had credit, so I paid $0. I love that. Okay, and then, oh wait, switch places. This one, I'd love to get, but like, I'm less passionate about it compared to those ones. 575, 378. Okay, so this isn't our maybes? This is a maybe. But okay, this is a maybe for a penny a page because I also really want this one. Oh, that's so Oh, and this would be such a good deal for Penny and Page. Yeah, instead of used, twelve ninety five, three fifty six. Lydia and I saw a How many do I have? One, that was two, still like three, three something four. Mm -hmm. So I have one more. I just counted off of the new price. Hopefully no one wants to come down this aisle. I think if they want to, it won't matter. So I think the Stephen oh, King one okay. is only a two dollar difference. But what are my other options here? I can get this from the library, so I'm not gonna get this one. This I feel like it's a good deal for 174, but it's like I it's a very popular author and I know that I can find her books at secondhand shops like and I can collect them slowly. Like I don't How much have is to it without the penny a page? Five seventy five. Okay. Versus one seventy. 
so. So we're thinking no? Thinking no. And just as far as TBR goes, I'm more excited to read Exquisite Corpse than buy the book. So it's just like, I want, no. I want this one. Okay, so I'm getting more horror and thrillers, which is fair. That's how this has been going for Personally, me this Personally, I summer. do not love this one, so I'm biased. Okay. I'm good with this. Okay, Carrie, do you want to tell the children what you, what you got? Book in a series. I'm going to be honest. I, uh might own this but I can't remember. <laughs> I, I did that with Vampire But Academy. I want to own the whole series and I found this one. <laughs> Some Neil Gaiman. Ooh, popular. Yeah, I've read that. Doing. Very weird at the end and I hope you enjoy it. I'm excited. This was on, I mean, all of these were on my TBR except for that Neil Gaiman one. Okay. Also, Headmaster's List is probably some stuff. high school murder mystery. Yeah, you adore. And this has been on my TBR for a long time. The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock? Yes. I love that cover. Me too. Beautiful. All for $20. Mm. Love, love, love. Cheers, darling. Cheers, darling. I just zoned out. Um, I was thinking of making a I PowerPoint with yeah, what right. very specific, uber specific genres I would recommend for each of you. Oh, really? Like um, subgenres of subgenres yes. that you'd recommend? Like, re and like really specific dreams. my gosh guys we did it it was such a success i'm really really thrilled with what i got and i am so excited to go home and show you i am hungry and i am definitely like ready to go home it was crowded in there like i thought but honestly it really did not like affect my shopping experience you just kind of like are wandering and i move really slowly and so if people are moving faster they just go around me and it wasn't stressful at all like it's a really cool environment and i love seeing the amount of people out there buying books is just so encouraging so yeah really great time obviously got to hang out with Lydia Abby and Carrie and it was a blast I'm gonna head home and I'll do a little haul portion show you what I got okay hi Gorge so I have just eaten and a little settled in now so I'm going to round out this video by giving you a book haul I want to divide these up by books that I have not read and are added to my TBR and books that I'm purchasing for my library because I had read audiobooks or loans from the library that I loved and have never purchased them and want them in my library. And of course, as you know, this was a wonderful sale and so these were really inexpensive. So I'm going to start with the books that I've already read and I'm purchasing for my library. First, we'll start with Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby. This is a thriller horror novel and I absolutely adore S.A. Cosby. This book follows a man with a really like criminal past, but he's been you know, not so much as a speeding ticket, like in 15 years, and his name is Randolph, but when he gets news that his son has died, he kind of goes back into like this really avenging mode that used to be his MO when he was younger. So it's about this gentleman just going through the motions of trying to deal with his son's death and also seeing if there was foul play, who is responsible, and then enacting revenge. So this is a very John Wick style book. S.A. Cosby's writing is seriously fantastic. I actually have another one of his books. I was lucky enough to also find a, um, a copy of Blacktop Wasteland, um, which is, I think it's a lot more car oriented. This is the one, yes. So he's a mechanic and basically he's like called back into like being in the driver's seat. Storyline wise, they are similar well not really i mean i think the tone i guess you could say is similar like these are older gentlemen these are southern they're gritty they're i think they're pretty like kind of gothic 
toned, like inspired, not like a gothic novel, but you can just see the nod there. S.A. Cosby is a seriously amazing writer. He's got horrors and then he's got thrillers, but these are both, I believe, thrillers. I've read them both four stars each. I think I gave both of these four stars. I am going to collect his other works because I gave My Darkest Prayer five stars and I also gave All Sinners Bleed, which is his newest release, five stars. I believe those are the horror ones. Thrillers just in general are, they always have less of a chance to get a five star from me. This was $3.19 and this was $3.03 because it was a penny a page, like I said. I'm so happy to add these to my shelves. We will stay in the thriller arena and I bought the Hunting Wives by May Cobb. This was one of the first May Cobbs that I read. I'm actually really hoping to get to her new release soon. And it is just suburban mom thriller drama at its finest. Like all of these rich white women who just like have nothing better to do than like meddle in their teenage kids' lives. And then there's like a suspicious neighbor and basically actual crime ensues. It's not really as gossipy at the end as it was at the beginning because real crime starts happening. Oh my gosh, it was so evocative and intriguing. I was fascinated this whole time. I, looking back on my Goodreads, I actually only gave this three stars, but I don't know. I feel like if I reread it now, this would easily get a four star for me, maybe higher. I'm super happy to have this in my collection. And the last of the four books that I have purchased that I actually have read already is Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. This is a historical romance and I don't know, it was just really cute. It was set in Oxford. It's like 1800s, like late 1800s in England, but it has this other angle where these women are basically part of the suffragist movement. And there's a number of books in this series and I've read all of them. This is the first one. And so we follow our main character as she's recruiting men of power to basically back a political kind of like law or proposal that they are putting to the government of England to allow women the right to vote. Our main character, Annabelle, is going around and trying to facilitate conversations with different high-powered men, and she meets their love interest, and it's like a serious tone, but it is a beautiful romance, and it is a feel-good ending. Wait, I got The Hunting Wives for $3.56, and I got this one for $3.56 too. They both have the same page count. So these are the books I've already read. I bought three books today, and if you know my channel, hi, if you're new here, I'm so glad you're here. If you are not, and you know kind of how I work my physical TBR, you'll know that three books in one day is a lot. So <laughs> two of them are really short and one of them is really long. So I think in the end it kind of all evens out, <laughs> but y'all. That's why this penny a page stuff is like really difficult for me because the way I structure my physical TBR is I want a low TBR, I want a low number of books. But when I see a book that I know for a fact that I want to read, and it is so inexpensive, it's just really difficult for me to like pass it up and say no, knowing that like I wouldn't be able to find it again for that price. And if I were to purchase it new, it could be three or four times the price. Let's start with the ones that, that is the case for. We'll get to we'll get to something else here in a quick second. This is Exquisite Corpse. Poppy Z. Bright wrote this book and it is a horror novel. I've heard it is incredibly disturbing, grotesque, way out there. It's a serial killer and I believe the body horror gets really, really insane. This was written in the mid 90s and I do believe like it made kind of a big splash for its time with how into the torture that this book gets. I've always wanted to read it, was happy to find it for $5.50. This is one of my small books. And the other small book that I have is Notes from Underground by Dost Dostoevsky. I've never been able to say his name. Dostoevsky, classic Russian writer. This is a book that's new to me. I'd never heard of it until I read Maeve Fly by CJ Lead. And the main character in that book is reading this book. It says the first translation was published in 1913, but I think that this book was written in the original language and published before then. I've heard that obviously not a lot about this book because I just read, for those of you who don't know, I just read Made Fly this summer. I got it for $1.26 because it is 126 pages long and um, I believe it follows a man who is just like really okay with going into some very depraved things and he rejects polite society and reduces himself to his most primal instincts in the weirdest and grossest way possible.
possible. So I'm excited to read this. Two books that are very out there as far as like horror. And if you know me, my physical TBR is intentionally set up to not have more than one thing of the same genre. And unfortunately I've just broken that rule with these two books and possibly the third. Listen, I did buy this book because it is a hardback. And if this was a paperback and it was maybe in not as good condition, I probably wouldn't have purchased this today. This is a well-loved Stephen King novel, 11 I bought this for less than $11 today. This book, I believe, is a first edition. That's what it says in the front. Um, and I'm really, really excited to have it. If you can't see, I've got my Stephen King shelf right up there. And I haven't read a lot of his novels, but I've read maybe half dozen and I would love to get into it more because seriously I do think he is a good author I know he's not for everybody but you guys he is for me I've read it I know that I can hang with that page length I'm gonna be able to hang with this I'm really excited to read it and I knew I was eventually going to read it but what this means is I'm gonna be reading it this fall. All right, you guys, these are all of the books that I bought today. I'm super, super happy. Let's see if I can actually get my receipt and I'll tell you how much I spent in total. All right, so according to my math, and I know I read all of the um, prices out to you, I spent $30.85 on seven books. And if you have been a longtime book purchaser, you will know recently, new hardcover new release books are you know really pushing that 29.99 32.99 now seven books for the price of one is pretty good to me thank you guys so much for joining on this video i hope you enjoyed coming along with me and finding some really good deals today if you are not subscribed already please feel free to do so you can follow me for more bookish content i've linked my goodreads and my bookstagram down below as well if you like to check out those hope you guys all have a wonderful day i will see you in the next video bye